Hi everyone, this is going to be a um, Mathematica demonstration of a local maxima we talked about, especially this one is geared toward to um, visualization of a three variable function. We're going to start with a two variable function situation. So two variable function I considered here is a sine xy minus cosine y. Okay. So I sketched it. So down here is the figure. It's, uh, when the level is 1.8, it looks like this. The thicker line is actual level 1.8. The other one is a one level like 0.7 level lower so that you can kind of see uh, relatively how it's shrinking down. So because this is a 0.7 or lower level, or this is a, a 1.8, their insides there cannot be um, anything lower than 1.8 because it's intermediate value theorem. It's got to cross it at, you know, to to go down something like that. So there is this nice thick line is only 0.8. So um, inside there, they're probably uh, something higher. So I push it up to 0.9. So this is a 0.9 picture. Okay. So there is probably some point where the f value is uh, uh, more than 1.9. So this is a picture of 1.99. So there was something already, so but here it still survives. So there is something that is slightly more than probably 1.99, but it seems like the guys inside here is less than 1.99, something like that. So that was definitely local maximum, but here we don't have local max. Uh, this is not a global maximum. It seems like there's a higher guy, higher point up there. So this is a one way to visualize the local maximum stuff. Um, in just looking at this two-dimensional plane. So we're going to use this idea to visualize three-variable function. So three-variable function I looked at here is some arbitrary one. Playing with the sine and cosine and it creates lots of uh, you know oscillation and up and down. So this is the function I looked at right here. Sine of x minus y squared plus cosine z squared plus y. Okay right here. Turns out if Mathematica is not handling this nicely, it's very slow, so I got this snapshot instead of that um, manipulate command. So this is level 1.7. Okay, I'm going to let you look around. So inside that tube, and everything is a, if you look at it as a temperature, inside that tube in there, it's more than one, you know, more than 1.7 temperature. And outside, outside here, it's probably um, something lower than 1.7 inside all this tube so if I increase the level as you can see kind of squeeze in so this is a bigger picture I should have done that earlier so that's uh, we, we made it slightly smaller and you can see that it's uh, um, got smaller as we raised it turns out this is level 1.9 so next level was 1.99 it's kind of hard to compare the which part survived and which part disappeared but as we squeeze to 1.99 you can see there's very little left down, and you can see somewhere in there, inside the tube, there will be a local maximum. So at least kind of give us an idea where the local maximum is taking place, and that is here and there is a, you know, probably something very close to f value two, because this is level 1.99 inside somewhere there. So uh, this is ideal, but way to find these points using uh, mathematics would be the partial derivatives and set those three partial derivatives here with respect to x and y equal to zero and that's the way to go right but it's really fun to visualize where this thing is taking place by using this level surface so this is level 1.99 all right thanks